Good evening. I'm going to be very brief, but I am pleased to officially welcome you on behalf of Harvard University. We are really very grateful for the many talents and knowledge that you have brought to our home, and we very much hope that you will consider it part of your home as well. Fulbright has this long history of building international community, and thanks very much to the Massachusetts Association of the Fulbright um, for putting together this fantastic concert to welcome you into that community. So, welcome to Payne Hall, welcome to Harvard, enjoy the show. My name is Ashley Connor, and I'm a PhD student in computational biology at Brown. And I'm here to tell you that we as Fulbrighters have a power. That could be through art, science, writing, or music, such as what we will all share here tonight. And the power is to connect with people who aren't like us through things like music, but also through our communication styles and the way we present ourselves. And more than that, we have a shared experience with other cultures because we live and have lived elsewhere. And we make and made friends in that place where we listened and laughed and cried together. But probably most importantly, we saw from their perspective. We worked on hard problems together, and we thought, what if we could remove barriers and boundaries that make us seem different when we're back home? What if we could advocate for the country where we lived and the people we met and learned from? And what if we could unite us all in that same mentality at a global level? to achieve truly mutual understanding. Take a moment and imagine that kind of world. We can build that world as full writers in concert. That is, at its core, one of the most important pieces of the Fulbright program. And Senator Fulbright knew that could be, a possible, uh, that could be possible by sending so many civilian diplomats to different corners of the world. It is our duty to advocate for the program and its values, to continue and to increase applicant numbers so that the kinds of experience, experiences that we have and continue to have continue for generations to come. We are full writers for life. And when you return home, we have the opportunity to embrace the culture, their culture, and spread an understanding of their values while being ourselves. That's true integration of mentalities, of ideas, and people for a safer country and better world. And the people that each of you touched abroad and continue to touch while you're here, do the same thing. Explain your values, your ways of life, your memories that you shared with friends abroad, and while, all while creating a safer world through mutual understanding. So speak, connect, sing and engage in forums, nights out, and long conversations. And if those conversations spread right into the early morning dawn, I hope that you feel those connections. I hope that you feel them so strongly that when you return home, you continue to connect with the global community through the Fulbright Association. My name is Joe McDonough. Uh, I did my uh, Fulbright in uh, the south of Oman in 2015. And I'm anxious to, to get back there. Um, but I think uh, all of us have, uh, have some great stories and, and understand uh, the mission of the Fulbright, which is just connecting with other people and, and getting to know more about the uh, folks who's um, at the heart of the, the Fulbright mission and, and something that, that, that works. Uh, we want to thank Harvard very much for, for co hosting tonight. Thank you, Gwen. And um, the Fulbright Association is uh, we're a non-government uh, organization. They have all the volunteers. Uh, no one's getting paid. Uh, we don't do really any fundraising, but uh, we do rely upon the, the, the kindness of friends like Harvard tonight, and especially the, uh, the great work for uh, of my fellow board members. Uh, you're going to see Ariana Falk a little bit later, who's our music director, who reserves special thanks. 
uh, you know, Gavin Hunt, uh, who you're going to see uh, behind the camera, working the audio visual machine, printing your program brochures, and playing the piano. She absolutely gets the whole <laughs> It's people, it's people on the board and other people who volunteer that, that make events like this happen. And, uh, I know as, as president, uh, they make me look good all the time. And I really appreciate the, the work they do. Uh, you'll have a chance to uh, meet uh, Beth Bennett, who is setting up a Thanksgiving dinner matchup thing so that our Fulbright alumni can uh, have Fulbright students and scholars from other countries come join their family for Thanksgiving to one of our great traditions that we want you to share. Another Harvard guy who isn't here tonight but is instrumental in, in putting programs together, uh, a lot of what you see on social media and on uh, the videos we do was, was done by Mike Miner, um, another board member. I do want to mention is that the, uh, the, the Fulbright chapter attempts every month to have uh, at least one event and sometimes two. Uh, some of you are familiar with our Fulbright pub nights, which um, is, is always a great time. This year, uh, we, we, we had a series of events that um, will allow you to learn a little bit about a new subject and interact with other Fulbrighters and other people from the Massachusetts community. And we hope to take advantage of it. We'll do an email to folks, and we'll also post things on Facebook, and they become popular. So if you think you want to go, you need to respond quickly to, to, uh, to get on the list. Um, we do a program with the Kennedy Institute where you simulate being a United States Senator for a day. Uh, and this year we're going to discuss uh, rewriting our laws on immigration and refugee policy. We also have people produce a TV show that uh, you get behind the cameras, you get into the control room, so you learn how TV is made, and you also meet people involved in community television. We, we also do a, a, a program which is a tour of the, uh, a lot of the historic sites in downtown Boston, um, except we make it the Bill of Rights tour. So you have a chance to learn about um, how human rights and the Bill of Rights developed in the United States and hear from a Supreme Court judge, uh, a, a person that heads up the public defender program, um, last year we had the Speaker of the House address the group, so it's, a, it's an interesting program where you get to see a number of different government buildings and, and hear from the experts in, in learning the history of, uh, of how the Bill of Rights was developed in, in the United States. We do a, a program celebrating Martin Luther King and the African Meeting House, which, uh, and then towards the end of the year, um, we do another program um, which is related to global warming and uh, retaining the wetlands. Uh, it's done with the National Wildlife Service up at Plum Island. And then uh, afterwards, folks come over to, uh, to my house for uh, a little bit of dinner and drink wine and, and good conversation. Um, and everyone seems to. Uh, to have fun connecting with each other and, and having a day at the beach. There's a number of different ways to uh, contact us through, uh, through email and, and Facebook. And uh, if you want to volunteer and help run programs uh, or have some ideas for other programs, we you know, are open to, uh, to have you volunteer and open to your ideas.